Hey, it's Neil Parfit here. This is just a phone-based video today. Well, I can't believe it, but I think I've struck unobtainium. I have somehow managed to get PC and Mac users talking together politely. I've never seen this happen before, except one guy who's kind of being a douchebag, but everybody else is being cordial and polite and there's friendly discourse. And it's really interesting seeing all these options coming up. So just to follow up to that challenge, it was more just to demonstrate that nothing is ever as easy as it appears to be. I didn't just go out and blindly just buy this computer because it was big and shiny. I did it because I saw the specs. It had some specific things that I knew would solve a lot of problems in my use case. I saw that I could take all my specific computers and peripherals and just jam it down into one thing really easily. I really appreciate the people out there who took the time to spec out machines that were close and they were almost there. They almost meet some of these specs, but there still are a lot of wild cards. And that's the main issue, the unknowns. As a working professional, I don't want unknowns. I don't have time for unknowns. I'd rather pay a premium and eliminate as many of those unknowns as possible. It has nothing to do with having a hate out for PC, which I don't. I'm fully aware that there's computers and CPUs that smoke the machine. Hi, Googie. Just because AMD has a faster chip, that doesn't mean this 28 core is a sloucher of a computer. It's not like I'm running a 486 with a turbo button turned on. It's a fast computer still. Again, CPU isn't everything. It's all these different variables coming together to solve a problem. And this machine did that for me. I did add Mac OS to the equation because that's the OS I use and there's apps that are Mac only that I use. And it just turns out with all the different clients I work with around the world, we all happen to use Mac OS. So why would I stray from that? It will just make everything more difficult and cause more complications in the mix when realistically, I have a million other things to deal with outside of computers running my day-to-day -day business. So it's all about compatibility in a professional situation. Do I try all these different unknowns or do I buy a thing that's literally turnkey? Does it do a thing? Does it do it well? And can you rely on it? And the answer to all those questions in my case is yes. That's time freed up for more writing, more time with my family, more time to sleep. I don't have time to tinker. I just need a thing that does what it needs to do. That's it. It's like my fridge or something. I don't even think about the computer anymore. And that's the whole point of this. Maybe it will come to a point where we all decide that Apple Silicon isn't the way to go and we all start looking at different options then. But until then, it's business as usual. And I've been invoicing clients and that's, that's what it is running a business. So that's it for the Mac Pro Rack. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's move on to some more interesting things like portable setups and synthesizers and music production and composing and all those different things. That's really what I want to talk about and what I enjoy. So we'll get into that kind of thing. Anyway, that's it for this. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody's good. And let's get on to the fun stuff. All right. See you later.